Come on, then. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> she uses a grenade launcher? Yo, where did she get that from? Uh, hey, they're finally back. Don't worry, I'm completely unscathed. Uh, I wasn't worried about you. What? If you must know, I was wondering if Branya was okay. You know what? Next time you go missing, I'm just going to say, uh, whatever, she'll find her way back to us. Oh, please. You've barely sat still since they left. <laughs> <laughs> Don Hung says with a straight face. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. So do we gotta get rid of Svarog? Let's bring him to our side. I feel like that's the best situation. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Exactly. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarok. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. Yeah, we're the protagonist group. That would be best. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. Hook? You- What are you doing here, Hook? Right, it's me, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Oh boy. What do you want? <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Oleg. You know, I'd actually rather have the kid guide me. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialties in the field, perhaps. Uh huh. Wildfire may know where the base is. But have they ever been inside? Good point. You've been inside? No. <laughs> but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Yeah, okay, buddy. Sure. Uh, Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? <laughs> what a heavy gate. Uh, okay, watch this. Open. <laughs> is that a secret code or something? No, it's just her showing her lack of brain creases. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svarog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Oh boy. We're gonna this take the test. This has to be one of them, right? It looks so lame. <laughs> is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. Can we knock on it? Beep. Boop. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine wrap tournament? Uh. Infernal construction what now? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh... What did it say again? Oh my god, oh, pay attention! Are you supposed to be dependable? Pay attention, this is life or death here, Sampo! Uh, Dr. Dig, Relic Gang, eight, I'm gonna guess 88 Degrees Bedrock, because that's the name that I saw before. Correct answer! Whoa! <laughs> uh, whoa! Was that a lucky guess? <gasps> did you go to a music festival without us? <laughs> Certification result, success! Requisite certifications remaining. Two, please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Oh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow! <laughs> so this is the certification mark? It stamps you. Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. <laughs> huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? 
<laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? Oh, God. Uh, I don't know, actually, don't for this know one. The answer? That's lame. Oh. Back to school for you. Come on, man. I'm new here. I got born two days ago. Relax. The logic control hub. Huh? Lucky guess. Got him. Ugh, now I have to do this again. Put your hand out. Marge, put your hand out? I'll put my hand out. What are you doing? I meant her. Give me oh, your hand. My bad. Huh? Me again? It hurts, you know. Huh? Ow. <laughs> hmm. There's something wrong with this one. Protocol. Inish, nish, 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 nish. <laughs> Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Not encouraging. Oh boy. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. What? Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat. Yo, module. yo, yo, yo! <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. Oh god. <laughs> Does anyone else feel like Sele just loves to beat shit up and not think? Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. Oh, why is it always me? Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. How come it hurt even more than the other two? Uh. Oh, at least that's the final step. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Sparog's certification system is no match for us. Open Sesame! See, not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along. You did nothing. I yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Ooh, did anyone hear what I just said? No. Oh, why is there another gate here? It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Huh? No. Sampo? Did he leave? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. No way he ran off again. Oh, hey. It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Oh. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Who's a good boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? <laughs> this Sally's face in the back. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Damn. We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? She's Frog's family. Family. Huh, weird. <laughs> Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. <sighs> but we were just there. <sighs> Sounds like we better head over again. Oh no, her Isn't thought this the broke. Robot that was following Clara around? Oh no. These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Have you seen another can opener here? Clara, in danger. Oh shit. Must protect. Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Bye bye. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. But you don't gotta do this thing alone. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. We're about to pay him a visit. Can you help us beat his ass? What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. Um, we need to do more than that. No, this time we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But Mr. Sparg doesn't like talking to others. 
especially wildfire. Well, he's gonna have to learn. He's gonna have to man up. I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarog doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. And that's why we're here in the first place. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarog and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarog's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? We can stop all this fighting. I know Mr. Svarog. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Well, his logical judgments are the only things that are stopping us from actually being able to do anything about uh, all of this. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. More like the underworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? Exactly. I'm sorry. I really can't help you with this. Oh, God. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? Oh, she's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Uh, Did you really have to add that last part? The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So we prove that we can prevent the disaster. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Us? Mm, precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation, and we'll be one step closer to peace talks. Yay! But first, we have to convince Clara. Hmm. Why won't it... Ugh. I can't figure it out. Are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Yeah. I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. It lit up. Thanks, guys. <laughs> no need. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Surely. Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... We're not trying to win you over. I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her? Uh, let's point out the variable. Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? You do look very different from other people. Thanks. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Svarog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Yeah. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're- We're not even from this planet. Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made up stories that grown-ups like to tell. <laughs> I don't- It seems like nobody here knows that there are people from other worlds. He and Marge aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, 
right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and he, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Yeah. Let them meet Svarag. And let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Hmm. I... <sighs> okay. I'll take you to see Mr. Svarog. Trying to change Mr. Svarog's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. Thank goodness. Uh, if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. <laughs> I'm back, Mr. Svarog. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Svarog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Target does not belong to Wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. This dude is massive. He looks kind of badass. I'm not even going to lie. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talking. Uh, oh god. To be or not to be, that is the question? Said question lacks the necessary context to be answered. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. You're already wasting it, buddy. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Do you know what a Stellaron- I, 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 He needs the context first. Do you know what a Stellaron is, first of all? Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. No. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Oh boy. Mm. As expected, he knows of the Stellaron, but it's a restricted topic. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. We want to bring this world's disasters to a close. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed. Attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the Architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target Threat Index Critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. Oh my god, nothing we say is gonna convince this dude. Your powers of calculation suck. Honestly, fuck this guy. Your powers suck. significantly exceeds base index. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March, prepare for combat. Mr. Sparrow, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find oh somewhere to hide. Oh my god. Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring automaton Sparrow. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Oh my god. I have a feeling that that was scripted and there's literally nothing I could have said to convince him in time. This isn't working. <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? Oh, what's up, Natasha? You were already in the battle, but... All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Oh, hi, Sampo. Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Enforcer. Where did that come from? What? Can you do that? There we go. I knew she was going to stop her. Clara. 
Can we talk now? You... Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please. Please don't hurt him. Claire. Rah. Mr. Sparrow. Don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Please. Mr. Sparrow, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like, like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. You better be getting this, buddy. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable 1. Clara's request. Variable 2. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... So we did it? Surely? I feel like... Do I, was there a different way to solve that? I definitely feel like that could have been avoided. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zila. Our battle. Their battle. It's just beginning. Finally. We finally made it to this point. Uh, what's up? Nervous? No. But... I do have an aching feeling in my chest. It's up to you to make your own judgment about who's lying now. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is... Irrefutable. This so called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze. Elisa Rand. It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public, unless... <laughs> unless you want to start a riot. Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. Oh. I don't understand, doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. Oh, this is so old. There will... Man's a dying. A day when you do understand this supreme guardian, she she sees further than you or I. All the decisions are not for the security of Malabar. When you find a way to destroy <coughs> destroy the Stellaron. Our efforts will have been worth it. Old generation leaving their problems to the new generation to fix? Sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? This is... Why is there a robot here? This was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. This is... All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. 
Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. So, the truth is clear now, right? <gasps> Can someone go over it again? <laughs> so they were looking for a way to destroy the Stellaron. And it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just... I feel a little faint. Her reality has been shattered. Because in the past 24 hours, she has not only found out that she is adopted, she's also found out they've been trying to find a way to get rid of the Stellaron. And that the, uh, the Supreme Guardian, or one of the Supreme Guardians in the past, ended up causing the Eternal Freeze. Why? Why, Mother? Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. Hey, can I have a word with you? Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the Underworld. Now, we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Surely. When did doctors start carrying weapons around? Um... <laughs> I haven't been truthful with you. Really? As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the underworld. So this girl is not only the chief of the Wildfire, but also the doctor and deals with all of the patients. Jesus Christ. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. It'll be difficult for us to defeat the Guardian alone, for sure. Of course, there's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Is it gonna be Mr. Sampo Koski over there? Zila. Oh. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Oh, okay, I'll take Zila instead. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. Oh, so many years. Have I been following lies this whole time? Oof. Hey, maybe you should find someone to talk to. Hmm. Don't let it get you down. You can share your feelings with others, you know? Do you think keeping it all to yourself is doing you any good? I just want to be clear in myself first. These fragments of history, the teachings I studied, Studied. It's all muddled together in my mind. I just... I don't know what I should believe. No, you just have to be clear on what you should do. You've spent long enough living in lies, Branya. This is your chance to break out of the cage. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> well... Now that we're done with that whole situation in the Underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. <sighs> But, thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. We promised her that our talks with Sparog would go peacefully. Yeah, that's kind of my fault, but... Look on the bright side. Things turned out alright, didn't they? Yeah. Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. But, we still have a lot left to figure out. For instance... Why does Kakolia have it in for us, for sure, actually? Exactly. 
There must be a reason for this sudden change in her attitude. And we still don't have the coordinates and location of the Stellaron. Yeah. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Actually, I've been having some dreams. Dreams? Oh, I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. I got sleep paralysis. Mm. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random. If there is some meaning behind them. Huh. Maybe you're having them because... What if because we have a Stellaron inside of our body, our Stellaron is speaking to her? Because of the Stellaron inside him? That's my hunch. But I have no proof. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Also, there's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. Ooh. Over there. See that? Aww. That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town. And it's also where I grew up. My friends and I used to wander those streets thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg got me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of 10, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. They're bonding. Uh, that sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Ugh, you're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? <laughs> what I meant was... Uh, I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Bronya. This is against the Architect's admonishments, Bronya. Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Branya. <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped. When every choice and every goal has already been made for you. <laughs> you probably can't imagine how that feels. I don't think anybody can understand how that feels. No, I can't. But more importantly, what kind of foul language are you using? <sighs> Fuck. In the name of the architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. What? <laughs> that's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. <laughs> no. No, that won't be necessary. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. That's so cute that they're bonding. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart-to-heart -heart with the future Guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and figured you were all just a bunch of cold snobs. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people, these precious things must certainly still connect us all. If there is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds, we can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze and the fragmentum. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future. But if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Aww. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is very important to me. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything, but as long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. But why does my mother hide it from me, and why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... It doesn't make sense. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. Go ask her directly. Yep, that's the only thing you can. You... 
hold on. You're not really going, are you? A alone? You can't. This plan is... I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Nah, but bring us with you because what if she... What if she captures you and then decides to bomb the underworld because she has her daughter back now? Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Even if... Branya, this is for you, Zila. Please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If... If I am unable to see you again, they'll know what to do. Okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But remember this. If you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter what. Aww. And I'll be waiting for you. Aww. Uh, that was a good sleep. <laughs> Finally got some good rest. We should go meet up with March and Danong. Took you long enough, sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. I've noticed that our sleep routines don't match up. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. Unacceptable. You gotta work on your teamwork. My bad. You're just like me in real life, though. Did you have a dream again last night? I dreamed that Hook and Pom Pom got into a squabble. Huh. That's weird. I bet the conductor won, right? <laughs> well then, let's go find Wildfire to discuss her next move. Oh, look who's here. It's the Bane of Farag, the big hero of the underworld. <laughs> look at Marge. She's not happy to see Sampo. And the other big heroes, Dan Hung and March 7th. Were those lines rehearsed? <laughs> Where's Natasha? Is she here? She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fella for help. This fella. I brought you down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Satisfaction guaranteed. There's no need to knock us out this time, <laughs> right? Right? Of course not. This time, we'll go back through the furnace core. Just tell us the path you used before. That would be problematic and dangerous. Trust me, we should go through the furnace core. Oh, God. <sighs> Enough chatter. Just be a good guide. What about Branya? She already went back. As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. Oh, right. Branya told me to give you this. I'm aware of the risks I might face on this journey, so if I fail to win my mother's approval or if something happens to me, please forward this letter to the Lundo siblings and ask for help. Brother and sister Landau? I know the brother must refer to Jepard, but who could the sister be? Oh, Sir Ball! So she's Jepard's older sister. Do you know the Landau siblings? Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with the younger brother in the past, but the sister? <laughs> she's much scarier. Uh, today's supposed to be a day of celebration, so let's not talk about it right now. You definitely pissed her off, didn't you? Trailblaze level 24? Come on, man. Mother. I have returned. Rania, I thought... I thought I'd lost you. Where were you? Are, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, mother. Here we go. I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. The underworld? Oh, I see. In that case, report everything you saw. Commander Branya. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarog and learned some truths about the Stellaron. Mm. I'm listening. Go on. Madam Kakolia. it is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it Ooh. has brought upon Bellabog. She's not gonna like hearing this. Mother, 
You've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Uh-oh. Well, the responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being Guardian. To carry these secrets for eternity. So, I ask you to forgive my defiance, but I believe that the order to dispatch the Outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellaron, the Architects waited hundreds of years. And those Outsiders may be the... the Enough! Oh, boy. What? Arrogant. Ignorant. Oh, you disappoint me, Branya. Oh, uh, here we go. You nearly glimpsed the tip of the iceberg. And now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum. Scum? Suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders. Guards! Take Branya. They are not scum. My entire life. Everything you ever kept from me. I remember it clearly now. This time. This time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. Yeah. And please, stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Yeah, get her ass. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Why do you send the Silvermane guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Huh. I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just... didn't expect it would be so soon. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. I am ready. Mother. Then come with me, Bronya. It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. Oh god. Here comes the Stellaron. Ah, we're finally back. I forgot what fresh air tasted like. <laughs> what flavor is it? Freedom. A cold. Mainly cold, actually. Let's go. <laughs> Classic, unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. True. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. Let's find Linda. The bro or the sis? If you're talking about Chapard, we should be careful. He's a top silver main guard. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. Obviously the one that wouldn't book us. I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. There's an expressively unbridled portrait here, or rather a wanted poster. The figure in the picture is predominantly grayish white, androgynous and straight looking at you with a sense of lukewarm lifelessness in their eyes. Coupled with the structure that appears to be a hand gripping a baseball bat, it's instantly clear whom the figure refers. You decide to peel it off the wall for the sake of Bellabog and for your own sake. What a nice drawing of me. They got all of my features correctly. <laughs> Tomorrow. Big customer with bigger pockets. Not interested. I need time, not money. Sir Vol, we came past here before and helped you fix a few things. Remember? What? Ah, I remember. The three outsiders. Wait, why are you still strolling around the city? Do you know the Silvermane guards are looking all yeah, over you? Yeah, shh. Just what crime did you commit exactly? They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city and everyone's in a panic. We didn't do shit. I mean, we kind of ran away and resisted arrest, but you know, we didn't really do anything before that. Oh, we just- Not yet, March. Rania said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? That's Dong Hong for Good. you. That's smart of you. <laughs> but you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the Architects. Oh. I refused to stand with her. So do you know Kokolia well? You could say that. We were like sisters once. Oh. Inseparable. Of course, that was all before she became the Supreme Guardian. Let's get back to you guys. 
If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. We may as well tell the long and short of it from start to finish. <laughs> Ooh, I'm the best storyteller. Let me, let me. Uh, try not to embellish the facts. <laughs> I want to hear her tell a story. I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron, I know why Branya got you to find me. When I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research division, I was researching the Stellaron. Oh, really? I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Come on, I'll tell you everything. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Svarog, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Yep. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. Damn. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. Kokolia. It's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm... It was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. The Stellaron... She gave the order to expel me herself and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior, and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Can we talk about Japard? <laughs> Japard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. You need to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. It might be best if I talk to him. Though, I'd need a strategy first. You know where the Stellaron is? Yes. I never observed it directly, but... I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog, somewhere in the vast snow plains. Oh, we gotta go out there? The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. Oh, great. If you want to get to the northern snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the north. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. So you're coming? This calls for brainwaves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Yeah! Really? Great! That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. Uh-oh. Uh <sighs> Darn it! I forgot my brother said he'd be around today. Find somewhere to hide, quick! I'll handle him. Hide! Japard! It's you! I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> the things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah! Oh, yes. That's right. Uh-oh. Sis, we're you already slipping. You look a bit pale. Did something happen? N no Why would anything have happened? <laughs> you are a terrible actor. You don't normally use my full name. Ah. You said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well... I agree. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Right, Brosif? Oh. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. 
Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Ah, of course. Lil Jeppy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Ah, forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the administrative district. She issued a curfew for the entire city uh, and yeah. ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. So she knows we're here. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Bronya. Is she alright? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. The Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. <laughs> oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time. Limited I was here. edition Goethe Hotel flask? I think I left it over. Oh no! Wait! Uh. What is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's, um. Right! You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning, and now they smell terrible. So, don't go over there. <laughs> this is a horrible excuse. Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? Uh, you must be up to more forbidden research. Uh, uh, am not? How dare you? What do you take your sister for? Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. Uh, hey, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask, what crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. That's what they say? Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian. For a good reason. But this isn't a joking matter. Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. I will. If I have the time. That was close. The coast is clear. You can come out now. Phew. I nearly suffocated. What kind of plot device was that? Plot armor. This is bad. Branya's in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klopoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain of that. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. Wait, is that Marge? <laughs> Oh, look at Marches. It's so cute. It has to be said that the aesthetics of this artist are shocking to the eye. Why does Sampos look like that? Huh? Oh, they've jacked up security, all right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brainwaves. Leave it to me. Wait, isn't that... <laughs> Serval! Long time no see. So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? Don't worry about it. My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers. So he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? True. N no, that's uh, not something I could handle. Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on Earth. The restricted zone front line is on the other side of the gear bridge. It's an endless fragmentum with a few exhausted Silvermane guards and the stench of death in the air. Oh boy. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, that's a cool quote. Without hardships to overcome, there is no trailblazing. Right on! I'm stealing that. Hey, that's mine! Darn! Can't activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or 
to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the Fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. So they cut off their only retreat? Aren't you the maintenance people? What are you doing over here? You can't just go wherever you please in the restricted zone. Get to work! Alright, my bad, bro. That's it! The thing's shaped like a giant iron ball. And it's behind a gate. What are the odds? Yo! Evening, soldier. Yo! Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Yeah. Ah, darn, this guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother, then? Uh, uh, captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. All right. Oh, hey, this guy? Dunn! It's been a while. I didn't know you made security, Captain. Serval, it's been a long time. You're still so... <clears throat> you look good. <laughs> he was definitely about to call her hot. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool. Pleased to meet you. Something smells weird. <clears throat> uh, Zachary, how many days has it been since you showered? Ew. I, I showered right before my shift. Hmm? What did you say? This dude stank. I, I haven't showered in two days, sir. Ew! Get the fuck out of here, man. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? <sighs> Don't be hesitant in front of your dream girl. Could you be any less discreet? <laughs> Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh... Let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that? And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped round and asked the favor. Uh -huh. Uh... Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could... Reconfirm with him? What's happening? Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back? Uh, that can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. What? These people you've brought, they're... They're not workshop assistants, right? What? <sighs> Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you. But you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident but the outsiders must remain there goes the negotiation ah uh, well uh sorry for getting you involved in this brought you guys here and i'm standing with you till the end done this concerns the fate of bellabog no the fate of our whole world please don't stand in our way serval we used to rehearse together every day you must understand that don't mean shit right now my rock and roll soul to uphold the dignity of a soldier. All right, buddy. You just got beat up by your dream girl. Why? I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. Got it. The encryption key. Quick, before we attract attention, let's... Yep, there it goes. <laughs> That's the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. My life was short, but it was a life filled with- But you're not dead yet! How can you give up that easily? <laughs> I've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. That's... We're in. Oh, it's open! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dunn! <sighs> Who designed this operating system? It's so unintuitive! Emergency fire evacuation system? Not that. 
rock and roll dance floor atmosphere mode? Who the heck added that? And they used <laughs> <to> my songs! <laughs> That's it. I've reset the energy system. Let's go and operate the gear bridge terminal. <sighs> we did it. We've gained access to the gear bridge. Let's move. Nice. There he is. Oh, Survive. God. It really is you. Wait, Japard. Listen to me. Step away from the intruder, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. Different how? I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. <sighs> Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every- Enough, Serval. <gasps> have you forgotten where we are? We Landau's ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Every Silver Main guard here, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. This man's not gonna listen. All right, we gotta beat some ass. And here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my Silver Main comrades in arms. Hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Why do you think I've come here? We found a way to dispel the eternal freeze, to seal the fragmentum. It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kokolia? Why would you sneak into the restricted zone and create chaos? Because she would send us into a dungeon if we tried to. <laughs> the one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? Yes. Listen to me, Jepard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's- I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. What? But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architects. The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy. That you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge. And that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty you to see, the people. It's just... This is why you can't trust government lapdogs. Guards, formation. Arrest these people. We could be inundated with Fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them! I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end! What happened to the brainwaves? <laughs> you are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard Restricted Zone. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. I mean, that's that's to be expected, honestly. My music conquers all. Yeah, see, if I didn't have Serval in here, I would have lost. I legitimately probably would have lost this fight. That's enough, Japard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. Even if I am, I won't yield. Oh, we're gonna have to knock him out. Brainwaves? Anyone? Our goal is the same as yours, Sir Valls and Branya's. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. <sighs> Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Branya. <sighs> Lady Branya? True. There's nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Main Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. But Lady Bronya is the commanding officer for the front lines. According to military protocol, if the front line directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the lines, a soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. Is this a brainwave? It feels like a brainwave. Finally, somebody used their brain. For the Silvermain guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Bellabog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. 
Our fight with the Fragmentum monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. But if you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends, I swear by Klepoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. We'd never do that. They're not lying. I promise you. As soon as the restricted zone gate is open, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. So, have you made up your minds? Yup. Oh, wow. Are you dealing with attacks like this every day? It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jepard, are you okay? I told you, Jepard, the barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero. Outsiders, Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. Huh? Uh, Sir Ball, aren't you gonna look for the Stellaron with us? I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Stellaron with my own eyes. Let's take a picture of it. Now it's so close, but I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. We'll just take a picture for it. Hey, March. Don't forget to take a picture of the Stellaron for me. Yeah, there we Say go. No more. We're good at this. Don't worry. Fragmentum activity is intensifying. Something's happening on Eurelo 6. Shouldn't we go down there, Himiko? <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, <laughs> this is his first trailblazing expedition. How will he be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? They said, nah, we're good. We'd be a little bit too overpowered. Are you bored, Welt? I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. Yeah. <laughs> So you think they'll be safe, right? Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Relax. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little... off-site assistance. What does that mean? Up ahead on the ground! What is that? Be careful. Think twice before you interact with anything in the Fragmentum. This is... Branyas! Branyas? Whoa. Huh? huh? Is that Kakolia too? No. It isn't them. It must be... a kind of echo? Oh, Mother... Do you truly believe the Stellaron's promise? It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. It... And yet... the crime of our ancestors was there inability to embrace that destruction embrace it sooner. just embrace your death what from the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky this world was handed a death sentence but the stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope delusional maybe i want to ask you a question okay uh sure do you still remember those dreams you mentioned to us i know you're wide awake right now but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. You try to recall the dreams as your train of thought deepens, the voice comes to you. Well? Uh, they told me to eradicate something. This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Kokolia and the one in your body is resonating with the Stellaron on this world? Yeah. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Did I already guess this? <laughs> then, aren't we walking straight into a trap? <sighs> yes. And Branya may well be the bait. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Kokolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. Oh boy. I don't understand. Even if the truth is as you say, 
every generation of Guardian has resisted the call of the Stellaron. Do you still not see, Bronya? There is no right or wrong here. Some of them acted out of human pride, others out of human short-sightedness. Our ancestors, including Elisa Rand, spent their whole lives trying to prolong this civilization. Then, after all fell still, their memories were scattered by the blizzard. They spent lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity, but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into the stars. I think Akali has lost her mind. I think it's already too late. We're gonna have to beat some sense into her. Either that or she's not making it out of this fight. There we go. Chad Norris. Wait, is that a Chuck Norris reference? Intruders. You cannot approach. Not good. March, help the way. The Stellaron. What? We're facing her echo? I'm just gonna like Let's slowly go. whittle down her health because I literally have nothing to get rid of it. I'm literally just the healing and shielding over and over. And over. Fucking finally. The stairs. It's the only way forward. Wherever they lead, it must be the end of the journey. I don't want to get to the end so soon. I want my journey to go on forever. <laughs> this means that Branya is up ahead. And so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. It's all in our hands. <sighs> Strange. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid, but I don't. The only feeling I have that none of this seems real. <laughs> That's kind of real. Is this how trailblazing expeditions usually come to an end? Not always. Sometimes it's a happier conclusion. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world. Uh. But there are always times when we have no choice but to act. Or to put it another way, this is one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. You hit the jackpot. I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections, but on second thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. We got this. Right on! What is this? Oh, it's scary. Dead bodies. It's like an insect trapped in amber. I bet the Antimatter Legion forces never thought they'd be swallowed up by the Eternal Freeze when they invaded this world. Huh. Even in the ice, could these guys still be alive? No. I hereby name him March 8th. <sighs> I'm impressed you can still think up jokes right now. <laughs> no. Do not resist, Branya. Accept the common will. No! I, I don't want this. Look! Upon their promised future, Branya. A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. Yeah. A world that we can guard for all eternity. The Star Run doesn't even give a shit about any of that. It literally will just trick her and kill everyone on the planet instead. Why? When faced with irrefutable strength is our first thought always to resist to cover our ears instead of hearing the call that's called survival it is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature so difficult to efface cast them aside Break free of the chains that bind you. The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Saber Sailor. You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. <laughs> you wish. We're not going down before you do. Branya, I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? 
If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. Yeah, Bellabog needs you, Branya. Zila. All of you. <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you here. Huh? To kill all of us. I want to witness your choice. I have told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the Architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. And the welcoming of a new world. Delusional! And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so... tangible. You lost your mind. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me, to watch over that new world, then I would descend into torment, Branya. Good. Enduring torment. Good. Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Branya, throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Choose, my daughter. Choose wisely, Branya. I know you will choose the right choice. Madame Kokoria, I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I, I am sorry, mother. On this, our final occasion. Yeah! I cannot stand with you. Tell her ass! You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. What about those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better? I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city. Striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. Not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. True. We are Guardian's mother. Chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you. So, this is your choice. I understand, Branya. Do you? Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. Uh oh. The ground, Earthquake! It's shaking! What's happening? That sign! The fate of this city, of Bellabog, is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. And you will become the foundation of the new world! You must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you! Oh boy. Rise, engine of creation! Oh! It's one of the architect's ancient machines! Watch out, all of you! 
Oh, so she's using a giant robot. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. How is she doing that? This robot's a thousand times bigger than Sparog. Engine, break them! Uh-oh. Ow. How can we bring a giant like this down? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We're fine, we're fine. Uh-oh. Um, we're about to get Hulk smashed. Oh, yes! Whoa! Let's go, Himiko Pop Pop! Himiko, it's Himiko! Hello? Can you hear me? Because the signal's terrible. Himiko, you finally spared a thought for us. What are you talking about? Weldon, I've been up on this thing you the time. You've got quite the trailblazing condition on your hands. Yeah, we're about to die. Uh, think I work. Or, importantly, how do you pop him from work? Over to you guys, I guess. Oh, we just gonna climb up on it. Okay. Yeah, I brought it with the gun. Oh god, we're playing Shadow of the Colossus right now. Grab hold of me. We got it, we got it. Uh oh. Yo, everyone's coming in clutch! <coughs> What's up, Nicolia? Behold, the power granted by them! Oh, well that's a form. Listen to the power surge! Sing! The Stellaron's promise is the only hope for this world. Just as it dispelled the Antimatter Legion 700 years ago, so too will it wipe you from the face of this world! Does Kakolia in every single universe she's in become an Steelers. asshole? <laughs> Humanity, so weak and foolish, always overestimating their abilities. Yeah, but you needed a Stellaron to do Let this. Let me bestow upon you despair. <laughs> Ow! Oh, that hurt. Well, here we go again. I'm dead. Am I gonna explode this time? This the universe. But I was fighting Kakolia. Why am I here? Last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? Oh, are we here to get a new power? Oh, this is pretty. This is thumbnail material right here. Commercial district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I... Go on, Jepard. I... I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum. What happened back there defied all reason. It was madness. Madam Guardian, if this continues... I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. We know well the consequences. Why do you hesitate, Kakolia? Isn't this what you've always been hoping for? Get out of this cage and take a look at the city. What is there to lose? The efforts of our predecessors. Their unfinished research. We can finally see them come to fruition. Give me some soldiers and I'll locate the Stellaron and find out how to save our world. Nope, and this is how she gets fired. You need to come to your senses, Serval. Come to my senses? What are you- Guards! Miss Serval is tired. Take her to rest. Uh, wow. Sequester her lab and detain the researchers. Their work is illegal. Bruh. Why, Kakolia? Why have you grown so cold? Serval Landau. 
You were my most cherished friend. And you gave her up just like that. Madame Kakulia! The monsters are surging this way! It's too dangerous here! <sighs> Foolish. Weak. What? Madam, what are you saying? Dang, she called her own soldiers weak? Only I. Only I can understand. They have eyes that do not see, ears that do not hear. Thanks, she just left them to die. Feast on their willful ignorance. Absolve them of their stupidity and fear. Mother, I still don't understand. The fragmentum corrosion has already spread to the underworld. How will those below ground fend for themselves if we withdraw every guard? The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. You, me, and every silver main guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, and she did. A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. No, she didn't. There's a little girl. What the heck? Huh? Is this God? The city is drowning in tears. The power of the preservation is fading. Oh, it's the Eon. He could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all. This isn't what Preservation would have wanted. Ah, a believer, I see. The Fragmentum had been expanding for the past 700 years. There is no faith nor wealth left for our successors. Only despair to see the home we vow to preserve wither away. That in itself is torture. Not to mention the haunting whisper of temptation. The day will come when even the strongest of wills cannot help but give in to such influence. It is only a matter of time before the Amber Lord forsakes us. Damn, so there's even there's gonna be a time even when our own will is not gonna be enough? Dang. Then let others carry on the will of the preservation. You you are but a stranger to us. And yet you seek to bond your destiny to ours. So be it. What is there to lose when so much has already been lost? Touch the light of the Amber, Trailblazer. See if your will can attract their gaze. We get a cool new sword? Ooh boy. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> March. He's like, yeah, I knew you would do it.
is currently being locked on, use e please use Bob skill. Like, please use it. You can taunt enemy and draw attacks from Krakolia. So I'm basically a tank now. Oh, I see. Oh, here we go again. Oh. Wait, is this thing gonna punch it? No way. Is this gonna straight up smack her? <laughs> here we go. Oh my god, that's sick. Holy. Oh my god, she has another phase. The power of the Stellaron is with me! Oh god. You are but cinders of the old world, soon to become ashes! You'll be the architect of a new world! This is bad. <laughs> oh my god, that hurt. I'm liking the music though. The only redemption. Again? At least I broke her. Holy. Again? Dog. I will be the architect of a new world. I will admit that ultimate is really good. Also, Servo is like two seconds away from getting bodied. There we go. Hit her with the punch and it's over. It's over. It's over, mother. She smiled as she combusted from cancer. It's over. Mother, did you wake up from that dream? Wow, that was a tough trailblazing expedition. We made it! Uh. What are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll steal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life. But it will take time. How long? It will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. Uh, can't think of anything funny to say. I got nothing. <laughs> Start thinking. We're going to need all the humor we can get. <laughs> the people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. You just tell everyone the truth. We've already done enough lying in this world. Can I really do that? Yeah. Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? Do you want to keep perpetrating it for another hundred? No. No. No way. Zila. In the underworld, we tell the kids... Things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie. But it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? Mother died to preserve Bellaba. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it, and yet... She decided to challenge its power. A, a power beyond human comprehension. 
Supreme Guardian Kakolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? Oh god, we're doing a little bit more lying. It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical, and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. I'm with March. Sorry. I'll be sure to make it up to you. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian and discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Sila. Please, protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. So only all of us will know what happened here. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Sila, can you tell everyone in the underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. While you do that, I'll head back to the administrative district. I need to tell Jabard and serve. Oh, she tired. Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? I'm. I'm fine. I need to. I need to hurry. She's exhausted. Quick, we need to think of something. Uh, you help me out here. Sele, take Branya back with you. We'll go to the underworld and pass on the message. Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. I had a protagonist moment. That's all I could say. <laughs> That's the second time I've sacrificed myself for you, March. Um, thank you. That's not answering my question, though. <laughs> he probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. We thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Tread on a brand new path. Preservation. Oh, I can just easily switch between them with a click of a button? Like this? Like that? Just like that? Don't have to go to a statue or nothing? Wow, how nice it would be to have something like this in a certain other game, huh? Natasha, Oleg, hope you didn't have to wait too long. Oh, it's them. You kids move fast. Oh my god, his mouth moves. On your faces, I assume you come bearing good news. Mm-hmm, you bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength and then... Uh, <laughs> uh maybe he should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. Uh, do you feel like recounting the story, Don Hong? I bet you could do a better job than me. The Supreme Guardian sacrificed herself to seal the Stellaron. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. <laughs> <laughs> Kakolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? We quite literally saved the world. Through patting yourself on the back? No. Thank you. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. I've died twice already. I've deserved a couple pats on my back, all right? What about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia is no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian. She sees things through and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The Yay. people of the underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. Yeah, it'd be nice to be able to actually breathe some fresh air. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Count us in. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. Here, take it. I'm afraid we're short on goods and materials right now. Oh, well, we actually have enough for the moment. You hang on to it. What? They're, they've already got along? What? Hey, are you guys causing trouble again? Oh, no, no, you misunderstand. There was a huge quake at the mine just now. Part of it collapsed. The vagrants here hadn't stopped to help. I doubt we'd have gotten everyone out in one piece. Oh. I was just discussing how to repay them. It's a shame the mining team's hard up right now. Well, uh, you want to hear something great? Oh, to do with us? Yeah, I'm listening. You mean to say that we're about to be reunited with the overworld? Are you serious? This has got to be a dream. Good things don't happen to us. Today they do. And you're not dreaming. If you don't believe us, pinch yourself. Thank you, outsiders, from the bottom of my heart. The mining team will remember you as heroes, as will the rest of the underworld. The ceiling of the stellar mine is complete, and the spatial distortion has dissipated. Good job. Why did he add us like he's on Discord? <laughs> the fragmentum is too deeply rooted. Bruh. This man types fast as hell. This man on track for world record typing speed. Damn! Bro just typed in a whole MLA formatted essay. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not gonna solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. So, should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. You have visitors, Clara. Oh, it's the variables. Another nickname for the collection. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Svarag said it must have been... Recalculating. Conclusion. Engine of creation. 97.66% probability. Are there any other secret weapons you'd like to tell us about? The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Whatever, we won. Thanks to that <laughs> giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but but now... Mr. Svara, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. Aww. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. We'll make sure to see you do that. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. Nice. Mars Donghong, Bob, are you seeing this? This Andrew can actually send message. Wait, <laughs> she has a phone now. Your taste in stickers? She's got a black back. Someone's got to teach her how to download the transparent stickers. After being closed for more than a decade, the cable car station should be reopening soon. See you there. Please, somebody give her an app for the transparent stickers. That's our Branya. Quick as a flash. <laughs> She certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. Uh. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way. After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration? Right? True. I'll go sit at the children's table. <laughs> For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, Reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. Uh, return to normality. <laughs> Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've 
tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Here I am talking your ear off again. <clears throat> this is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. Finally. Finally, I can get back to supervising the cable cars. <laughs> I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Man's been waiting 10 years for this moment. Ah, it's you! The liberators of the underworld! You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Does this thing have a good safety record? Relax, relax! In all my 20 years on the job, there were only ever... Uh, uh, anyway, none of them were serious. What was that number? Brothers, sisters, ladies! Gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather round. The cable car passenger service is about to restart. Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> that's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. Wait, that's right. <laughs> Hook has probably never seen the sky, has she? So this is the overworld? The air here smells different these kids have literally never seen the sky before <laughs> less rust and geomero particles floating around take a deep breath children this is what freedom tastes like damn right i never thought i'd live to see the administrative district again all those years we've been through a lot natasha <sighs> you're right oleg it's funny the moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just pass me by. Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. Everyone earned it. Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that on this planet! Thankfully. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the restricted zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. Didn't expect to get Rex? Yeah, you got work, buddy. You are excellent fighters. I'd love to have you provide training for the guards, but I know you have places to be. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Huh? That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. Look at this wanted poster, that's so funny. Oh wait, March has a pretty one too. Wait, that's so cute. And here's Don... <laughs> Look at Don Hugs. <laughs> Guards! Formation! Whoa, this must be it! Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabog, hear me! Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The order to seal off the underworld from the overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Although tortured with guilt, she could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together, people of the underworld. We chillin'. I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I like this art. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering, but I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, 
Bellabog will not recover its former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Oh. Most of you were not oh, aware boy. of their arrival. But it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you, to follow me into the future. Yeah, let's go, Branya. I, Branya Rand, the 19th guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. Lady Branya, Lady Branya, long live Bellabog! Branya, we're back. March. Nice speech. John Hung. And you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute. But I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Are you fully recovered? Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you never have a similar experience, March. <laughs> there was a little bit of a lying, deception, deceit, embellishment of details, but um, it's all right. It's for the people. Am I right? I prefer to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Mm. Allow me to explain. The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. Yeah, you just gotta deal with that now. Sorry, we promised you. No, no need for apologies. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. The Astral Express will do everything within our power to help. We'll be in that here. Case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. So long, my friends. May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Yeah, that was kind of insane. Worth celebrating, I'd say. On a scale from 1 to 5, how would you rate this journey? Five. Two and a half. <laughs> how is this two and a half for you, Don Hong? What's a five for you? What? That run of the mill, huh? <laughs> My scoring criteria are different from yours. Uh, anyway, we <laughs> should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? What is the next adventure going to be like? Equally unforgettable, I'm sure. Anyway, don't worry about the future. Live in the moment. True. Let's go for one more round in the administrative district. I want to take more photos. Branya said she's willing to wait 700 years for us. Uh, Don Hung... How long can humans live for? <laughs> About 80 years. Forever. But in that scenario, they can't be considered human anymore. Damn. Yikes, okay. So serious. I was just curious. Everwinter Monument. Photo time. Oh, Pela and Hook are here too. Let's make sure we get them in the background. Oh, so much ice. But it's warm here. Aren't you overworlders worried it'll melt? Not at all. It may look like ice, but it's actually a monument carved out of Geomero crystal. Ah, oh, Geomero! 
Uh, it's a shame Daddy isn't here. He'd find a buyer for it and sell it for big bucks. <laughs> uh, how do I explain? This particular piece of Geomero is definitely not for sale. Hey, have a look. I took a photo of everyone. A photo? What's that? Hook wants to see it. <laughs> I must remind you that taking photos of others without gaining their permission violates Bellabog Public Security Ordinance number... Wait. That's a nice picture. And it's crystal clear. Wow, photos are awesome. Uh, can Hook have it? <laughs> you like it? It's yours. A farewell gift from us. Who's there? Didn't your parents tell you to knock before? <laughs> it's you three. <laughs> Come on in. I was just talking to Clara about you. How have you been, big brother? Mr. Vall's workshop is amazing. There are all kinds of things. I like it here a lot. I'm big brother now? What? When did I become that? Miss Serval? Clara is such a well-mannered kid. Meanwhile, the architect's children are still calling me auntie and making me <laughs> feel old. <laughs> still looking to hire assistants for the workshop? Hey, that's not your line. We're here to take a photo, remember? It was worth a shot. This feels like one of my fan meetups. <laughs> anyway, for you guys, I do autographs for free. Photo. Oh, I remember. When I was little, Mr. Sparog took a photo for me. Over here, Clara. Want to learn some cool poses? There's got to be a better shot than this one. <laughs> um, I was trying really hard not to blink. <sighs> we shouldn't have trusted an amateur. What? What do you mean? Never mind. At least it's memorable. A little farewell gift from the Astral Express. Huh? You're leaving so soon? I understand. Well, this photo will always be close to my heart. I'll make a copy for you too, Clara. The thanks, Mr. Vol. Big Brother, March, Dan Hung. Thanks for taking care of me. Safe travels. If you have time, please come back and visit me and Mr. Svarog. No problem. I will. <sighs> That's enough sightseeing and photo taking to last me a while. Time to head back to the Goethe Hotel for a good night's sleep. We can sleep when we're back on the express. <laughs> Not so fast. Last time we were here, that evil Madam Guardian interrupted us before we'd gotten the most out of our luxury suites. True. Don't you think we should make up for it? True. Come on. Himeko and Mr. Yang are grown-ups. I'm sure they'll cope without us for one night. Yeah, they'll be just Besides, fine. Besides, don't you want to chit-chat with the locals now that Bellabog is full of life again? I know I do. You're overwhelmed by a sea of weariness. Go to bed. The engine of creation, Kokolia, and ethereal outer space, the gaze of preservation, your fragmented memory of the battle forms a blurry and surreal montage. In the midst of this frantic tapestry of events, you see the moment Kokolia perish with the Stellaron. A strange voice speaks to you in a hushed tone. But the voice passes rapidly. You try to recall what you saw in those fleeting moments, but find no trace. All of a sudden, you hear it again. A female voice in your ear. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Oh, it was a close thing, all right. Good thing it dawned on me. Hey, Sampo doesn't have to be a protagonist, right? <laughs> The likes of us are better suited to, uh, shadowy comic relief, eh? Yeah. Turns out the Astral Express crew is more fun than I expected. Who is he talking to? <laughs> you, you liked it? Really? <laughs> Told you so. Who is he talking to? No, no. I'm in no hurry to leave. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, Epsilon? <laughs> What fun can you get out of a giant vanity fair like that? <laughs> True happiness always entails the manifestation of the dignity of mankind. Now that's a quote I live by. Well, bye for now. Send my regards to the guys and girls in the tavern. Oh, and don't forget to say that Sempo Kuski will catch them for the next one. Time to make my curtain call. To you, my dear audience, I dedicate my performance. I wonder, 
Could I bring a little more joy into your lives? <laughs> I have nothing to say to you, Sampo. You don't have to answer that. But if the answer is no, then you'll break my heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude. Morning. How did you sleep? I'm full of energy myself. I dreamt about Sampo. You poor thing. I'll go check the lunar calendar. Today might be unlucky. No! Did you get Himiko's message? It's time to go. The conductor will nag us again if we put the express behind schedule. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Well, pack your souvenirs and stuff. Back home we go. We're finally bidding Hello. farewell to Bellabog. I think this is a decent first world to start off with. Here we are at last. <sighs> It's sad to say goodbye. You'll stop feeling sad the moment you set foot on the express. Hey, I'm not that heartless, you know. Yeah, that sounds more like you, Don Hong. Let's go. Priorities? What do you mean? Are you saying rebuilding the underworld isn't one of your priorities? Uh, of course not. I I'm just saying we have limited assets and uh -oh. we need new parameters. Assets, parameters. You sure love your fancy words. Forget it. Leave it to me. I'll go down myself. <gasps> Come on, Zila. I won't leave you to- Look, Branya! <sighs> There'll be plenty of difficulties waiting for them, right? Yep. Yes. Their future is filled with even more uncertainty than ours. But we will prevail here. Even if it means arguments like this go on forever. <laughs> they won't go on forever if I win them. Uh. Welcome home, you three. They're gonna be fighting forever, aren't they? <laughs> what a healthy relationship. Himeko, Mr. Yang! Team Trailblaze, back from duty. Mission one accomplished. Although Welt and I didn't get the chance to go with you, I can tell you worked hard to bring things back to normal. Well done, everybody. And especially you. I heard a lot of good things about you. How would you rate my performance? I'd say it's a solid five stars. Yeah! Get some rest on the Express. Your Relo 6 was not an easy ride. Pom Pom is of the opinion that we should leave as soon as possible to avoid potential resurgences of the anomalies we experienced earlier. Himiko and I agree. Which means we need to decide where our next destination is soon. That's right. That's the path of the Nameless, I presume. Always on the road, always trailblazing. Uh, I'm not complaining, by the way. <laughs> One adventure after another, that's exactly what I signed up for. <laughs> Looks like March has fallen in love with the Way of the Nameless. That's good to hear. I think we're all gonna fall in love with the Way of the Nameless. You can head back to your rooms for some rest. Or stay here and make yourselves a cup of coffee. Whichever you like. I'll head back to my room then. <laughs> you said that so quick. There I was thinking this guy would gradually open up. We need to give him some time, March. I think he treasures the time spent with you guys. About your battle against the Supreme Guardian and the whole Stellaron situation, you must have a lot of unanswered questions, I suppose. Yeah. While you were away, Welt and I did some research and came to some interesting conclusions. Let me know if you want to ask about anything. I would love to, but that's not going to be in this video because it's too long. Hi, Pom Pom. It's been so long. Pom Pom, we're back. Shh. Checking Star Rail stability. Pom Pom needs to focus. Good to see you too. <laughs> Spatial readout. Back to the normal bracket. Star Rail stability keeps rising. 56%, 57%. The numbers have stabilized. Dispatch the express. Here oh, we go. Welcome back to the express. You've accomplished your trailblaze mission. The express appreciates your help. I forgot to bring you some souvenirs. Uh, don't worry about it. Your Rillo 6 probably doesn't have anything worth buying anyway. What? <laughs> it's your first time on a trailblaze mission, so Pom Pom will let it slide this time. <laughs> Dang. But don't forget next time oh yeah march wants some juice oh pom pom almost forgot there you go careful not to spill it <laughs> thank you conductor to avoid encountering the anomalies again the express will dispatch shortly and head to a more stable area for your safety please don't leave your seat until the express has reached cruising speed nice <laughs> 